I'm Joaquin Phoenix. Please take a few minutes and join me in a behind-the-scenes look at the exotic skins trade. Every year, millions of reptiles are slaughtered so that handbags, belts, and shoes can be made from their skin. The animal's welfare is not a consideration to those who hunt, poach, and farm them. Hunters snare wild lizards and cut them apart with a machete, sever their heads, and then skin them. According to wildlife biologist Clifford Warwick, most of these lizards are still alive as the skin is torn from their bodies. This live snake's head has been nailed to a tree and her body slid open from one end to the other with a knife. After her skin is ripped off, she'll be tossed into a pile and left to die, which can take several days. The majority of alligator skins used to make purses and shoes come from animals raised in crowded, stinking tanks filled with feces and urine. These animals are either stabbed in the head with a chisel or bludgeoned with a metal bat. The alligators you see here are clubbed until they stop moving, but no one will check for vital signs before they are skinned. Many animals, such as lizards, snakes, and alligators, have a slow metabolism, which means that they may remain conscious and able to feel pain long after they are decapitated. Well, this is the heart. I just cut it out of the snake. It's been dead for about five minutes. And it'll keep eating all. It'll be for 40 minutes. You can help stop this suffering. Anything you have that is made from animal skins can be made without. With so many stylish and cruelty-free alternatives, there's no excuse for wearing animal skins. On behalf of PETA and myself, thank you.